Is your computer showing 100% disk usage constantly? Is it slow to respond? This is a pretty common issue, especially for laptop users, but it can be maddening to figure out why it's happening or how to stop it. However, there are a few likely culprits clogging up your computer's storage bandwidth. To start, you can check your disk usage by opening up the Task Manager in Windows 10. You can either right-click on the Start button and select Task Manager, or you can press Ctrl, Shift and Escape. If you just see a small list of apps, click on more details at the bottom to see the whole thing. On the main processes tab, you'll see a quick overview of the CPU, memory, disk, and network utilization. For me, unless I'm doing something on the computer, the disk usage is normally around zero. In the worst case, you'll see something in the high 90s, but hardly ever 100%. In some cases, you might see just one process causing high disk usage, but in other instances, the process that's causing the spike may change. So now you know which app or apps are causing the problem, but what can you do to resolve it? Let's go over some common solutions. The first and most obvious solution is to close, uninstall, or otherwise disable the program that's hogging the drive. That's not helpful if it's software you or Windows needs, but if it's an app you don't want or need, you might as well get rid of it. If you do need the application and the high disk usage is limited to just a single app or process, you should do some Googling around high disk usage for that particular program, since there may be a very specific cause or fix for it. If you have an SSD installed on your machine and are having the disk usage problem, it could be a problem with the firmware of the drive. SSDs are fast and unless you have some programs that access them all the time, it really should never be at 100% for more than a few seconds. Visit your SSD maker's website for info on how to update the firmware. You can also try a clean boot. If you have never performed a clean boot, now is the time to learn. A clean boot basically loads Windows with the fewest drivers and startup programs. A clean boot will help you determine whether the issue is being caused by Windows itself or a third-party application. Microsoft has a great article on how to perform a clean boot. I recommend using it because it usually fixes a lot of other issues as well. It is a little time consuming, but it's totally worth the effort. Just set aside a few hours on a weekend to get it done. If you find that everything loads fine on a clean boot, then slowly enable each starter program one by one until you determine which program is causing the slowdown. You can then choose to uninstall or disable it. Check the description below to find the link to the clean boot article from Microsoft. The next thing you should try is to disable any third-party antivirus or anti-malware programs, as those programs can have a tendency to access the disk constantly. Something else you want to check is to see how much RAM you have installed on your machine. Since Windows 10 can run on older devices, it's possible you might actually not have enough RAM to run it properly. In general, the absolute minimum is 4 gigabytes of RAM. If you have a lot of data that has to be written to disk but not enough RAM, it will cause your disk usage to spike and your computer to slow down. If you notice that the line in the disk usage graph is close to the top, it means you probably need to upgrade the RAM in your computer. With some computers, the hard drives are smart and will try to power down or change RPM to save power. One example are the green and blue Western Digital hard drives. It sounds like a great feature, but it doesn't always work well in practice. To avoid this problem, go to Power Options and select the High Performance Power Plan. In addition, click on Change Plan Settings and then expand the Turn Off Hard Disk After and set the minutes to zero. This will ensure that the hard disk does not power down or go into a low power state, which can be the cause of high disk usage problems. Just remember that doing this can also affect your battery life. These are some of the most common fixes for high drive usage, but check out the article in the description below for some less common ones if your issues aren't resolved. See you next time.